When I put my artwork in public places, it can touch more people. Being able to see something that's uplifting in those spaces is very important to me, I think, as an artist. After I graduated from the Savannah College of Art and Design, I kind of stayed in the area and I got more involved with different community organizations such as Penn Center, which is the first school for freed slaves on uh, St. Helena Island. It's also kind of epicenter for Gullah Geechee culture. And that kind of became the basis of my work. My grandmother was a Gullah Geechee and she was from the area here in Beaufort. Being Gullah Geechee is kind of an honor or legacy for me that I'm able to continue to learn and to teach about those different traditions. Even though I do it visually, I try to you know tell those stories in my work. Some of the symbols that I use in my work are Adinkra symbols. And so Adinkra symbols are African symbols and each one has a different proverb or meaning. And so one of the symbols I like to use a lot is Sankofa, which means learn from your past while moving forward. And so I use a lot of drips in my work and I do that to show time passing on the canvas where you can actually see the drip and then where it stops. The piece that I created for MUSC Charleston for the Bicentennial Collection shows a woman reading an old book. And so I tried to make it very ambiguous, but as you look deeper into the painting, you'll see the old documents that we collected from the library and collections at the university. And it was a collaborative piece where different patients and people in the hospital were able to collage imagery onto the painting. Since it was gonna be in a public place, I wanted to have that collaborative effort in the painting.